All right, so I'm signed into Cassandra's WordPress.com free blog site. Um, and when we sign in via WordPress.com, which is up here in the address bar, it'll bring us to the reader. And if we want to get to the blogs we have on WordPress.com, we click on My Sites up in the left-hand corner. So Cassandra has a couple of blogs here. Um, we've moved all the information over to her hosted blog and she no longer wants to have these, these blogs on WordPress.com. It can cause confusion if someone finds this site, comments over here, or maybe thinks this is your current master key site. What we try to do is put up a final post saying we have moved and then delete the site a few weeks later. So what I'm going to do here is show you how to delete the site. So we're going to go down here to tools and there's this delete site. So it gives you a few choices. You can choose the one that's most relevant to you. Uh, I don't need this more anymore is a pretty good one. So do any of these reasons describe why you don't need this anymore? Uh, how about I never use this site? So I already exported the content, so I just want to delete now. It says in bright yellow, you're trying to delete permanently. Please read this carefully. Are you sure? You, this can't be undone. So I'm just going to check. Yes, I want to permanently remove this and delete now. Now if I go to Reader, actually that's going to send an email to the email that is associated with this. So you'll still see the two sites until Cassandra clicks on the email that comes. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to go to Dashboard and I'm going to click on Tools, Delete Site. I don't need this anymore. I never use my site. Delete now. And yes, I'm sure. So I'm inside of Cassandra's email now. And there's this is the email that says, My blog, please confirm site deletion. So I'm just going to click on this link that says, if you're certain you want to delete your site, confirm now. Now before I do this, I want to know which site this is for since I sent two emails. And actually, doesn't look like it's going to tell me in this, uh, in this email. So I'm going to just click on this one and then go to the other email. So that one is telling me that that was deleted. So now I'm going to use my back button and I'm going to go to this one here. Oh, actually that's what it is. This in the brackets here, that other one was just called my blog. This was called Master Key Valeska. So that's the one. So here we go. I'm going to click on that one and delete that one. Now I still have a account with WordPress.com. I just don't have any blogs in it. Is that so I can still go and I can use the reader, but when it goes to my sites, my sites is going to be blank. So I can still use my WordPress.com sign in to comment and like on WordPress.com blogs. So I would still use the same sign in when I'm commenting and liking on other free blogs even though I've moved to a hosted blog. And I did make another video about that. Um, if you're getting the shaky box, look in the members area for the video on what to do about that. You can also find it on YouTube. So this has been Heather Plude from Freedom Out of the Box and I hope this helps you delete your free WordPress.com site when you're ready to do that.